What's up, YouTube? I want to share uh, my electric bike experiences with you today. I've owned three of them now for almost half a year and just wanted to more or less give a review of uh, this main one in particular we're looking at right here. Uh, talk about some of the uh, pros, mostly pros and, and cons of uh, this bike and, and what, uh, what our experience has been with this thing. So this bike is a 26 inch aluminum alloy frame, 48 volt, 1000 watt, 13 amperage hour, fat tire, electric beach cruiser. As you can see, you've got this 1000 watt battery right here, 48 volt rear hub motor that powers it. Um, bike's got dual suspension on it, so obviously you've got front fork suspension there, which is very beefy, comparable to pretty hefty mountain bike shocks. Um, and then you've got just this seat suspension, which you know, it's not necessarily the highest end suspension you could get for rear suspension, but it does the job pretty well. I've been very happy with it. Bike comes with dual hydraulic brakes, which is really nice if you're familiar with the difference between mechanical disc brakes and hydraulic brakes. You've got hydraulic fluid in these brakes, which prevents the bikes from uh, getting that, that rotor squeal that you often hear with the mechanical disc brake. This bike is a big bike. Uh, it's for a big guy. I'm six foot three. So, uh, you know, this bike is, is not made for somebody, I would say, under about five foot nine. If you are under that, that height limit, I would recommend just looking at some different models. Obviously, there's tons of them out there. This one's just for a bigger guy. It just fits, fits the bigger guy. A little better. Uh, we're going to provide links below for where you can get this bike on Amazon as well as some of the accessories that I've purchased that have made this thing even more fun to, uh, to ride. In, in some way, shape, or form, it's very much almost like a dirt bike. It came with cruiser style handle, handlebars, which I actually modified and put the, uh, <clears throat> the sort of BMX looking handlebars on the bike. $20 on Amazon, which has tremendously impacted the performance of the bike, where you go from a, sort of a holster holding handlebar position to more of a uh, mountain bike stance position. And the only reason I say that is particularly when you're going down hills, um, or even inclines for that matter, your hands can really slip if you're in that sort of gun holster position, whereas when you're braced like this, it's made a big difference for me. Now, if you're just wanting to go ride the bike on some bike trails or, or, or pavement, things like that, you probably won't need it. As far as going off-road and things like that, it's, it's something that I've really gotten a lot of benefit out of. So we'll provide a link for that um, handlebar in the comments below. The bike goes about 30 miles an hour, um, or at least that's how fast it goes with me on it. Um, it's got five different modes, level one, level two, level three, all, all the way up to five, obviously. You can either do it in pedal assist or throttle only, so you can ride it like a true dirt bike, or you can ride it like a bike with some assist, or you can ride it with nothing at all, which you'll, you'll realize how heavy the bike is if you, if you do that. It's doable, it's just heavy. The more you help the bike, the further you can go with the range. Uh, so if you are fully maxed out riding it like a dirt bike at level 5, you might get 20 miles of range out of it. Uh, <clears throat> but your butt's still gonna hurt after that because it'll take you about an hour and 15 minutes to do that and uh, that's all you're gonna want anyways. Um, it takes about four or five hours for the bike to charge. It comes with a standard charger that they provide. The bike ships in about three to five days if you're domestic here in the United States. Not a whole, whole lot of lag time on that. The customer service is really good. One recommendation I would suggest is to go through their Amazon store uh, that they have. It's um, Ecotric or Ego Bikes LLC, I believe. You can Google that and that's what the website is. But the link that I provide in the comments below is uh, probably where I would suggest purchasing from. Mainly one, that's the cheapest price I've found for it. It lists uh, on there, last I checked, for about $1,400, a little over $1,400. On their website, it's more like $1,480. So that's the cheapest I've found. And the customer service from the Amazon store is tremendously better, a lot more responsive. 
I've had two issues with this particular bike that they've addressed very quickly. Um, they got back to me within a day. Uh, one was a hydraulic brake issue. Uh, there was a bubble in the hydraulic fluid of one of the brakes, and so uh, they just told me to send it or take it to a bike shop. And uh, fortunately, I did. They fixed it. They bled the brake out and uh, sent them the receipt, and they reimbursed me. I think it was like $75. So that was cool. Then the other issue I had was the battery um, died on me and uh, all I had to do was uh, send it back. They sent me a shipping label, sent it back. I had another one within about a week. And so the bike works great now. I'd probably suggest if you're going to use it off-road, maybe put some slime in the tires uh, because these are big, beady tires. But uh, if you like to run them with, with pressure, you know, they can be prone to get some holes in them. Just so, so putting some of that preventative maintenance slime uh, in, the, in the actual inner tube of the tire. It's, it's helped out quite a bit. <clears throat> the other thing we've done is we've added a few accessories to the bike, which has um, made it a lot of fun. Um, one, as you can see on the end of this thing, is we added a, a child bike seat. Um, that comes in two parts on Amazon. You've got a $35 bike rack. That's a 110 pound weight limit bike rack, which is the most I've seen for that price point, which is, is really good. It can hold a pretty uh, decent sized kit, so to speak. And then uh, you've got the actual bike seat, which is also about $35. Um, you have to put that together yourself. It's not too hard, you just have to spend a little time doing it. That has been a tremendous amount of fun for the kids. We've gone everywhere from college sports games to out to dinner to riding on the beach. We have an RV, so we take the bike with us on RV trips and just go on adventures and it beats the heck out of sitting around looking at electronics all day. We love you too. No offense, but my kids got to get outside every once in a while. So this has been a great vehicle for that. We also have utilized a bike trailer. I've got an adapter on this um, <clears throat> on the rear um, wheel there that just hooks right to the bike trailer. So in essence, I can haul three kids at once and we can get around town pretty easily. Um, it's been a lot of fun. The kids love it. It's an adventure. And so uh, it, it also oftentimes avoids the parking issue that you'll, you'll have at, um, at, at places that you may want to visit. Now, we are very safe. We just travel along bike trails. We follow crosswalks, things of that nature. But and then the bike trailer has also been tremendously helpful for, for storage. If, we gotta, if we're going to the pool, for instance, we just throw all the towels and stuff in the bike trailer and off we go. And now we're going to show you guys some clips of uh, me out there riding the bike. We thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you got something out of it. Share your experiences of electric bikes in the comments below. Tell us what you think of this one. Give us a like. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. And make sure you stay tuned for the performance of the bike. Thanks.